Welcome back guys, um, in our last video we learned how to use the document control and then within that we learned how to add you know like uh, controls for example this is the quad menu that we added for example and then if you look here we also took care of some of the backstage file menu options that was here we turned the property of visibility to uh, false so we can see certain menu here and then this custom is the one we just added custom task group here right in this video we're going to learn um, about contextual um, tabs for example these tabs this hidden tab only shows up only when uh, relevant objects are activated for example here you can see table tools and then here when you click on the pivot table you can see pivot tools you know like ribbon comes up and then this is an example of you know like adding a new tab in that hidden tab okay similarly in the chart tools here's the extras driven again uh tab that was added okay so we'll i'll just demonstrate quickly how to create that okay i'm just closing this file let's create a new workbook again okay now let's open this and we're gonna insert this part and then from here we can insert um, maybe a custom tab we don't need to use the custom tab just need to re reuse certain part of it and here I'm gonna remove this for now like this and here we can you know like start uh, opening the contextual um, Actually, we don't have to write this part. We can just copy it from this sample here. So here's the contextual tab. And then you can just copy this part and paste it within the ribbon here, for example. Just need to open first here. So you can hit tab to index it. And then we'll close this tag okay now I'll try to validate this so this one is saying you know like uh, setting the tab and then the tab ID is the chart tools okay so this one is gonna appear in chart tools called extras or we can call this chart utilities something like that some extra functionalities that you're adding to this particular you know like uh, ribbon tab and here the group ID and then the group name and the button one and two okay again these buttons uh, we can reuse the buttons we already created as a sample I'm gonna copy this okay so let's give it a try I'm gonna, I'm gonna close this file because we won't be able to save it then the moment so I need to have a chart let's take a sample from the prior file so this is the file we just updated now so when I click on the chart you can see chart utilities and these are the buttons which are you know like copied and pasted from the blog okay so you can add any menus here like in any of this uh, ribbon that you see here for example so you can add all these type of menus it could be drop down button button or any of the menus okay so similarly let's um, try to add this to uh, pivot as well so I'm gonna copy this tab, tab set, right? It's not looking good now. The formatting is not good, but still works, so that's okay. Now instead of chart tools, let's call this pivot. Was it pivot? So it's pivot table, pivot table tools.
and then the label will be to the table pivot utilities maybe and then make sure all these are unique again this just gonna put X just to make it unique okay So this is the XML is well form. Save and close. And reopen this. Just once I click on pivot table, so here's pivot utilities, okay? So once you click on chart, it shows up the chart utilities. This is a custom one. And then once you click on pivot table, it shows up the pivot utilities. That's all I have for you in this video. In the following videos, we'll try and explore more customization ideas. We'll talk about dynamic menus, um, you know, like the callbacks that you can trigger on load, you know, like when you change certain values, we'll go through many more elements like uh, combo box and you know, like uh, uh, other controls that are there in the list. And if you have any questions, we'll also try to take them. So do let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Okay, so thank you for watching and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye-bye.